Hello and welcome back to Expedition Builds. You know, I recently found a great way to securely lock the hood of my Jeep. And best of all, I do that using my factory key fob. So we just installed a product called the Stealth Hood Lock Kit from LaceFit. So I want to walk, uh, walk you guys through what's involved with that. I'll show you the product, I'll show you how the install goes, and we'll give you some thoughts on what we think. So let's jump in and get started. Let's take a look at LaceFit's Stealth Hood Lock Kit. Here's everything included in the kit. Upon first inspection, I was very impressed with the quality of all the components. For this install, I use a standard screwdriver, a clip removal tool, a trim removal tool, Torx T30 bit, an 8 and a 10 millimeter combo wrench, cutoffs, and some zip ties to wrap things up. Alright, let's start by removing the grill on the Jeep. Locate these six push-in pins, pop them up halfway, and remove the clips. Next, let's attach the air hoses to the locking mechanism. They are clearly marked black and white. To make it easier to handle the air hoses, I've taped them together so they act as one piece. Grab a T30 Torx bit and let's remove two of these bolts on the braces. Because my winch is previously installed on my Jeep, I wasn't able to fully remove my grill. I was able to work in there, however. Next, we'll install the lock mechanism and bolt it back up. Here's a completed look. You can see how nice and clean the new locking mechanism fits right onto the front of the Jeep. And here you can see the routing of the air hoses. They run up under the driver's side headlamp and along the engine bay. Next, let's locate this factory firewall plug and remove it. It simply pries out. Here's the factory firewall plug removed. I'm going to drill a half inch hole through the middle of it to accept the two air hoses, which will run into the cabin. Next, using a trim tool, pry off the panel underneath the steering column. These are the plastic clips that should be prying loose. And here is a shot of the two air hoses as they come through the firewall. With the kick panel removed, locate this hole in the upper crossbar. We're going to add a nut to it. Remove the red tape, insert the nut from behind the hole, line it up with a bolt, and press it into place. It will look like this when you're done. Next, locate the lower horizontal crossbar and with an 8mm remove this bolt part way. Next, I mounted the pneumatic actuator onto the bracket. It will bolt up here and here using the supplied hardware. And here's that assembly installed into the Jeep. Next, we'll install the manual unlock switch. Slide it over that loose 8mm bolt and then tighten it down. The button needs to be facing downward. It looks like this when you're finished. Next, find this harness and plug it into the side of the controller box. Now we can plug the OBD2 pass-through cable into the Jeep's OBD2 port. It looks like this. Now we can connect the air tubes to the controller box by pushing them into the connectors. Pay attention to the colors. Next we will route the CAN bus harness to the passenger side. It looks like this. At the base of the center console, we're going to need to fish that CAN bus harness across the console, out the other side, and it's going up in behind the glove box. Behind the glove box, you're going to find this green canvas terminal board. Plug the canvas harness onto any available slot on the green terminal board. Installation is now complete and it's time to synchronize the new hood lock system to your canvas. To do this, start the Jeep for one minute, then turn it off. Turn on the ignition without starting the Jeep. Turn off the ignition and the synchronizing procedure is completed. 
you're now ready to enjoy your new Stealth Hood Lock system. Now, let's see the Stealth Hood Lock in action. Without the Stealth Lock in place, the hood will open this far. With the Stealth Lock in place, the hood is now only allowed to open this far. Now here's some final thoughts on the Lace Fit Stealth Hood Lock System. I love the peace of mind this brings, knowing that now I can securely lock the hood of my Jeep and I can do it through my factory key fob. Maybe this mod is right for your Jeep as well. Until next time, stay safe, and we'll see you on the trails.